Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Speed Build Fridays and today we are building an apartment for a photographer. So we built this over on TikTok Live, which is the new format of how we are filming um, these videos for YouTube. We're building them together over on TikTok Live and then they're getting turned into speed builds for YouTube. So if you ever wanna be part of the building process, uh, make sure you're joining me over on TikTok and we stream on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We are currently building a home for a masseuse. And then actually tonight we are going to be voting on our next career build. So we're voting between a fashion designer, a farmer, and a musician. So yeah, if you want to be involved, oh, well actually, <laughs> by the time that this video is up, we would have already decided on one, I'm sorry. But usually um, we do the polls at the beginning of those TikTok streams. So yeah, if you want to be part of the process, the best place to join is over there. So we are building for a photographer. This is a two-story photographer's home and studio. So the downstairs, which is what we're working on right now, is the studio area. So this is where you work as a freelancer. I believe the photographer photography career is a combination of uh, Moschino and get to work. So get to work is where you actually get the photography items. Um, but Moschino has a bunch of great additions and poses and things like that. So the two packs side by side uh, allow you to have quite a really detailed and developed photographer career. So the downstairs is where you would invite your clients over. Usually it's just Sims that are in the area, but you can invite Sims over and have that as like the way the clients come to your studio. And so we have a combination of the actual photography equipment down here. We have a waiting area, which, we ju which you just saw by the front door. And then here, what we're working on is the editing suite. So this is where the photographer would edit their photos, work on portfolios, and then maybe do a final presentation for the clients. So uh, yeah, as you can see, we are scattering around lots of cameras and photography equipment, papers, files, boxes, things like that. And then those three prints um, in a row at the back wall are prints that you, or frames that you can then put your prints inside. So you can fill that up as you start developing your photography career. So we have quite a monochromatic neutral color palette in the entire apartment actually. That was the interior design style that we all voted for over on TikTok Live. So not a lot, not a lot of color in this build at all, but nice, easy on the eye color palette. And then at the opposite end to what we've just built is the vanity area getting ready. We have the clothing rails, the vanity table, products, and then we do the shoe rack from Get Famous and that makeup chair also from Get Famous. So Get Famous will have some really useful items for this build because that these are the items that you use when you then go and work on set uh, in the movie TV industry career. So yeah, we have, use a lot of Get Famous items as well. And then we have a bathroom down here. This is obviously accessible to the clients. So we have some lockers in there. We have a tray for some products and then the bathroom. And it's more of a client bathroom. So I don't imagine the photographer uses this one. And that is all for the downstairs. And then we decided to have the upstairs as where the photographer actually lives. So it is a one bedroom, two bathroom st uh, studio apartment. Um, but the first bathroom downstairs is obviously mostly for the clients. Doing some finishing touches, scattering around a lot of mirrors down here and some clutter. And then we will move on upstairs. So. By the time you're watching this, I am actually on holiday with my parents and I have pre-recorded a bunch of different videos. I'm pretty sure you would have already seen several werewolf builds before this and I hope you have been enjoying those. If you have seen any of them, you'll know that werewolves, the werewolves pack that recently launched is one of my favorites, made its way into my top 10 list. I love the build buy items from there, so I was very excited to see lots of different builds, but I hope you have been enjoying those as well. So they're not career builds, but we they're, they're speed build Fridays now. So yeah, I hope you've been enjoying those. But now we should be moving back to the career builds and you should be expecting either a fashion designer, a farmer or a musician in the next couple of weeks um, and our masseuse home. 
Okay, so upstairs we are working on this entry or this hallway here, which you can still see from downstairs. So I tried to make it as nice and fancy as possible. And then such a clever idea from one of you all on our TikTok live. So this is where they have their prints developed and our photographer probably spends a lot of time in here developing all of their artwork and prints and we don't have any items for this to be honest so we were just completely improvising with the different trays we have a pot of utensils we wanted red lights in here as well and this uh fairy lights from toddlers no it's not toddler is it kids room uh, and it just is a random collection of items that we tried as best as as best as possible to make it look like um where you would develop prints. Okay, and then moving on to the largest room upstairs. This is going to be the, it's an open plan kitchen dining lounge area. So quite small space, but actually the we figured out a good floor plan, so it, it, everything fit perfectly. We have the lounge on one side. We don't imagine our photographer as much of a TV person. So even though we gave him a big TV, it's not a huge space, so it's more, maybe just more of a, a sociable area for our photographer. Uh, but that is on one side of the room, and then on the other side we have the kitchen, and the kitchen has a big island, which you could use as a dining table. So there is no dining table in here, it's just to be eaten off the kitchen island. Then around the build, we have scattered a bunch of different magazines. Our photographer maybe publishes in those magazines, so we've scattered them around uh, the different rooms. So this is the kitchen, this is the island now, and we again went with a very neutral color palette. My favorite kitchen cabinets from the Dream Home Decorator. Oh, okay, we added a pop of yellow for some color, the only colorful item I think in this entire build. And then for the kitchen cabinets, we went with this interesting design of two kitchen upper cabinets and then shelving in the middle to frame the oven, which is underneath. There you go. And that's, that's the layout of the kitchen. So it's not huge, but it actually works fine. And your Sims don't need to eat on a dining table. In fact, they don't really even need to eat on a table at all. Your Sims will eat on beds, couches, they'll eat standing up. So it's not necessary to have a dining table. And then we also have this really big, large outdoor space, the big balcony that you could have probably seen, which when you build in this lot, so this is 701 Zenview, you actually can decide how big or small the balcony is. The only thing you can't change is that there's a curved corner. Because we don't have curved walls, we only have curved fencing that has to stay as fencing. But the other side of the balcony can be whatever size you want. You can make it an inside or outside, but we wanted to give our photographer a fairly large balcony space for, again, hosting and socializing and entertaining. So we have a pretty big balcony. Actually, it's almost the same size as the, as the open plan living space, um, but you'll see what we do out there. Okay, and now moving on to the bedroom. I lied, we have two colorful items. Three if you count the carpet. Three colorful items in this entire build. So very small bedroom, but actually everything fits in the end. We have a, just the basics, bed, two bedside tables and a wardrobe and a chest of drawers from Tiny Living. And these really pretty lights, which I do not use enough from uh, Dream Home Decorator. Uh, but yeah, we didn't have much space to work with in here. But this is probably, well, this is a really nice photographer's studio, but definitely more emerging, an emerging photographer. So you can definitely upgrade them eventually to a bigger penthouse maybe, and then have lots of different rooms. So yeah, finishing touches on the bedroom, bench and a plant. And then we are moving over to the bathroom. And the bathroom is just a duplicate of, a lot of the items downstairs except we add a shower and everything else is the same so boring with my bathrooms is anyone else the same where you just end up duplicating all of your items because you're not inspired or at least me I'm, I'm not inspired by the bathrooms that i do so i just end up duplicating everything twice 
Okay, now we're on the outside and I love this balcony. I think it's so, so nice. We could do so much with it. We decide to do this, this um, seating area here. And then in that little nook that is to the right of the seating area, we put a bar, a bar fits perfectly in there. And it makes it a really nice sociable space. This is, is actually turning into a very good entertainment uh, apartment. So yeah, then we have the bar there. And then I found this tabletop, this tall table from Tiny Living, which I have not used anywhere near as much. It's so beautiful. And that is the outside seating. So we're coming to the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed this build. It is available on my gallery. Uh, I, yes, it is available in my gallery. However, it's very difficult and annoying to download apartments from the gallery. You will see them as two separate rooms. So it will be Photographer Studio Floor 1 as a room, and then Photographer Studio Floor 2 as a room for the second floor. So you can find that on my gallery at Hi Emma Nicole, but I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more career builds and speed builds, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>